Hello, good day. Today I'm going to show you how to use Excel to model a portfolio with two risky assets. Our objective is to learn how to invest and diversify the investment by spreading the fund among assets to lower risk. From the numerical example, you will learn how to graph an investment opportunity set by varying the weights of investment in each of the two assets. In addition, you will be able to understand how correlation plays a role in influencing the portfolio risk. We will also learn how to construct a minimum variance portfolio. Constructing a portfolio with two risky assets is the most basic of portfolio formation. Hopefully, the theory presented in this learning material will form the foundation towards more advanced portfolio management in future. Let's start learning together! Take note that in this video, we focus on a simple portfolio with two risky assets. Once we have mastered the basic, in future, we will learn how to manage a portfolio with more than two assets or many assets. This slide shows the formula to measure expected return and standard deviation of a portfolio with two risky assets, asset A and asset B. ER stands for expected return, sigma is the standard deviation, and W represents weights of investment. The formula for covariance and correlation are also shown in the slide. I list out this formula as guidance to you just in case you have forgotten the formula. However, due to time constraint, I will not explain in details. You can refer to my earlier videos if necessary. Throughout this video, we are going to use this example. There are two assets here, asset A and asset B. Asset A has higher expected return of 22% as well as higher risk of 30%. Asset B has lower expected return and lower risk. The expected return of asset B is 12% and the standard deviation is 10%. We are going to draw an investment opportunity set for asset A and B based on different level of correlation. Let me show you how to construct an investment opportunity set using Excel. The very first step is to calculate the expected return and standard deviation of portfolio P. Portfolio P consists of 20% investment in asset A and 80% investment in asset B. The cells highlighted in yellow are the input from the example. For a start, I will assume correlation coefficient is negative 0.5. Later, we can alter the correlation coefficient. You can use any value for correlation coefficient as preferred. It is always a good habit to calculate the variance and covariance as it makes the programming with formula easier. Variance is equal to the standard deviation power of 2. This is the variance for asset A. For asset B, I can drag across the formula to obtain the Variance of asset B. Covariance is equal to correlation coefficient multiplied with standard deviation of asset A multiplied with standard deviation of asset B. Enter, and here is the value for covariance. Next, I will show you how to calculate the expected return and standard deviation of portfolio P. The weight of asset A is 0.2, so I type 0.2 here. The weight of asset B is equal 1 minus weight in asset A, and the value is 
it is very important to take note that we should not enter 0.8 for weight in asset B. Instead, we shall type 1 minus weight in asset A. This is because whenever we change the weight of asset A, the weight of asset B will also change automatically. We assume no borrowing and 100% of the fund is fully invested in asset A and B. The sum of weight is equal to weight of asset A plus weight of asset B. The answer is 1. 1 means 100% fully invested in the portfolio. The expected return of portfolio P is equal to weight in asset A times expected return of asset A plus weight in asset B times expected return of asset B. Enter and the expected return of portfolio P is 14%. Next, I'm going to calculate the variance. Variance is equal to weight in asset A power of 2 times variance of asset A plus weight in asset B power of 2 times variance in asset B plus 2 times weight in asset A times weight in asset B times covariance AB. Enter. The variance is 0 0.0052. It is very important to be familiar with the formula. Next, I'm going to calculate the standard deviation of portfolio P. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. I'm going to type equal SQRT, open bracket, point the variance, close bracket, enter, and this is the standard deviation of portfolio P. Next, I'm going to show you how to draw an investment opportunity set using data table. Data table is here. Under data, what if analysis, data table. Data table is an Excel function that makes computation of table faster and easier. You need to follow a certain format when using data table. The first column, the first column refers to the input cell, which is the weight in asset A. Here I have typed the weight of asset A from 0 to 1. For example, 0 0.1 means 10% invested in asset A and the balance 90% of the fund invested in asset B. Take note that the first row of the data table must refer to the output from the modeling. For example, I'm going to type equal standard deviation. This is the output from modeling of standard deviation. Here, I'm going to type equal expected return. Next, I'm going to highlight the data table. I'm going to point data, what if analysis, data table, and I shall select column input cell because the data is arranged by column. The first column refers to weights of A. Therefore, I will point weights of A. Click OK. And the standard deviation and expected return for different weights of investment A will be calculated automatically using data table. We have constructed a data table. The information here can be used to draw an investment opportunity set. Now let me show you how to draw an investment opportunity set. I'm going to point insert. Uh, before that, I need to highlight my data. The x-axis represents standard deviation and the y-axis represents expected return. I'm going to point here, scatter, and select scatter with line, scatter with smooth lines and marker. 
this is my investment opportunity set. If I invest 100% of my fund in asset A, I'm at this point. If I invest 100% of my fund in asset B, I will be at this point. I can also select the design of the chart okay, by pointing here. I can select this pattern and I can type standard deviation here. And expected return here. So this is my investment opportunity set. Let me show you something interesting. If I vary the correlation of A and B, for example, I change the correlation of AB to 1, the pattern or shape of the investment opportunity set will change. What if the correlation is 0? You can see that the straight line become a curve. What if the correlation is negative 0.5 and it moves towards the left? Next, what if the correlation is negative 1? It has become two straight lines. So this shows that the lower the correlation the better or higher the diversification benefit, the standard deviation can be reduced. You may fix the weights of asset A as 20% and asset B as 80% and draw an investment opportunity set for different level of correlation such as 1, 0 0.5, 0, negative 0 0.5, and negative 0 0.85. The outcomes are shown in this slide. The finding shows that the lower the correlation, the lower the standard deviation for a certain level of expected return. Combining assets that have strong negative correlation can reduce overall portfolio risk and achieve benefit from diversification. This slide shows the formula to calculate minimum variance portfolio for a portfolio with two risky assets. If you wish to understand more about the concept of minimum variance portfolio, I have created a video on that. Do look out for the video from YouTube if necessary. When it comes to financial modeling with Excel, you can choose to use this formula or use Excel solver. I will show you more on that. Let's learn together. Next, we are going to use the same example to construct the minimum variance portfolio. Here, we assume the correlation of AB is zero. First, I hope you can try substituting the data into the formula and calculate the weights of investment in A and B. After that, make use of the weights to calculate the portfolio expected return and standard deviation. The final answer is shown in the slide to motivate you. After that, we can compare the answer with Excel solver. Let's try. Assuming the correlation is zero, how can we form a minimum variance portfolio? We need to know how many percent of the fund should be invested in asset A and asset B to minimize the standard deviation of the portfolio. In another words, we need to calculate the weights of investment in asset A and B. We can use formula 
we can use Excel Solver. I'm going to show you how to use Excel Solver as it is very convenient and easy. We do not need to type or remember formula. For a start, to maintain my earlier working, I'm going to copy the input from here. Copy and paste. I select the first paste here, paste P. Alright, because we assume the correlation is zero, so I will change the correlation to zero. Okay, so the rest of the modeling has been programmed earlier. I wish to measure the minimum variance portfolio. Alright, I'm going to select um, SOWER. Okay, then I'm going to set objective standard deviation to minimum by changing variable cells of weights in asset A. Click soft, OK, and this is the minimum variance portfolio. A minimum variance portfolio has a standard deviation of 0.0949. The weight in asset A is 10%, the weight in asset B is 90%. Next, I wish to show you the position of the minimum variance portfolio on the investment opportunity set. I have changed the correlation here to zero, as I know that for a minimum variance portfolio, the weight in asset A is 0.1, so here the figure is 0 0.1. All right, the lowest standard deviation that can be achieved is 0 0.0949. And all the information here will change automatically once I update the input. This is the investment opportunity set. The minimum variance portfolio is here at this point. At this point, we invest uh, 10% of the fund in asset A and 90% of the fund in asset B. The standard deviation is 9.49%, somewhere here. And the expected return is 13%, somewhere here. All right, this is how we draw an investment opportunity set and identify the minimum variance portfolio. This slide shows the calculation using formula. The answer from the formula is the same as Excel Solver. To form a minimum variance portfolio, we invest 10% of the fund in asset A and 90% of the fund in asset B. You can also use formula to double check your answer with Excel Solver if you wish. I find using Excel Solver extremely useful and truly convenient. So most of the time, I use Excel to find a solution to portfolio management problem. I hope you also enjoy using Excel Solver. Would you? Finally, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please practice the examples given in the Excel spreadsheet as practice makes perfect. I hope to see you again. Bye.